What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today in this video you guys got to choose what I make for the video and today's video it is going to be a basic illustrator tutorial for you guys who are just beginning to use illustrator. Now this video is very hard for me to make it was um, not easy for me to make because illustrator is such a huge in-depth software and so before I begin anything I just want you guys to let you know that this video is going to be mainly focused on the commands and stuff your keyboard layout before you start making anything on your artboard but let's begin with the basic illustrator commands list the illustrators for dummies so we're going to begin with the a v b spacebar and z commands these all work differently depending which way you use them if you decide to use control or alt so let's begin with a the direct selection tool if you keep an eye at uh, my uh, cursor you can see when i hit the a button it changes color changes to a white color to signify what you're doing and this command right here can do a lot of crazy things so for example if i make a shape like a square or a line or if i'm doing a drawing and let's say a stroke is not wide enough I can edit its width and everything like that by messing around with this anchor points as you see here with the square I'm gonna be able to just alter every little anchor point within the image versus moving around the entire image so as you see there with the regular select tool I'm just moving it around but when I check it over to the direct select tool I am able to mess around with the anchor points I'm able to curve things out and I'm able to alter what the anchor points are and I usually only use the direct selection tool when I'm using the pencil tool or the pen tool because I am a digital drawer I use a style I don't usually make a lot of images with just the keyboard and mouse. I have my drawing tablet on the side and I have a lot of my hotkeys set up on my drawing tablet for the keys on the command list to be set up on the fly. So I'm just able to just quickly work around that with my drawing tablet. But if you're using a mouse or anything like that, this does help out a lot. Now when it comes to V, the select tool, it just does what I'm doing right there. I'm just moving it around and it just moves it very simply. But let's go on to the brush tool. For anyone who's doing digital drawing, this is going to be your main tool for everything. But the brush tool is what I use for every single image. Whenever I'm drawing out, doing rough sketches, this is what I do. If you need to change the transparency, change it. But when you have a stylus and you want to change it like this, um, then you can do a lot. Maybe when I make my routine video, I'll show you the little tips and tricks that I use to be able to get the pressure tilt and all that stuff with your stylus and drawing tablet but this is what I use the paintbrush tool is my main tool it is the most used tool in my whole entire arsenal and you can do so much with it let's jump on to the next one spacebar holds the entire artboard so if you hold the spacebar down then pretty much you can move the entire artboard it's not really used to move individual objects that is what the a and v button are for so if i hit a and v you can see i'm moving around the the, the object but if i hold spacebar down i am now moving around the whole entire artboard and um it just helps you navigate through the whole entire artboard without any issues or flaws if you're getting zoomed in because I think what, what does Illustrator have like a million plus zoom um, and you can do that with Illustrator and it makes it super simple and super easy for you to get around and navigate through your image if you need to go to some particular place then you can and that is what the Z button is for but let's move on to the more advanced command list the advanced command list that uses the control and the alt functions now the more advanced command list is a combination of holding down either control shift alt and then um, either a z b or x c those all do different functions and stuff and this command list helps you do stuff like copy and paste and stuff like that and it's very simple and very easy once you get it down but just take a look at what i have written up here for you guys it really does help out what you need so control a select all control z undo control x cut control c copy control Control V, um, paste, and then Control B is paste in place, and then Control Shift Z is undo. And so let's demonstrate what this can do by using my favorite little thing, the square. And so again, this is mainly for people who actually have a drawing tablet on hand. These commands really do help out if you're drawing anything with the drawing tablet. And it just makes things wonderful. So if you look here what I'm doing, I'm hitting Control A, which is selecting everything. So as you see, I'm selecting it all, and I'm able to duplicate things by holding down the Alt button. But just simply holding Control A will select everything on your current layer. But what if something that happens you don't want to happen? Oh no, what am I going to do? How am I going to undo this? I have to go all the way up to the edit menu and then hit the undo button wrong. 
hit control Z. Whatever you make, you just hit control Z and it will automatically reverse what just happened. Or let's say you wanted to get rid of this and you didn't want it to wait, but you don't want to lose it. Just hit uh, control X, command X, and it will definitely get rid of it as a cut. And then you can paste it by hitting control V. If you, I usually use always control B, paste in place, because if you hit control V, um, control v to paste it then it will definitely throw it off it won't paste it back at the same place where you cut it from so if you hit control b paste in place that's what it's for then that's all you got to do just to make it pop back where exactly you left it at and that's what i usually do um, i hardly ever touch the paste function it's usually always going to be copy and paste in place is what i always use for drawing digital drawing my tablet i have it set up on my command keyboard and on my digital um, tablet and pretty much this is just the beginning of using Illustrator. You really want to familiarize yourself with your keyboard and how you can set up keys to function properly with your drawing tablet. On my drawing tablet, I have 16 hotkeys. That's a lot. I am able to make every single one of these functions just a push of one button on my drawing tablet. And it's very simple. Sometimes I can make images on my drawing tablet without even touching my keyboard entirely just because I have these keys on my drawing tablet. It really does help the ease of access, ease of life, makes things so much simpler when you have a proper drawing tablet. But let's say if you have a, like a like a basic Wacom walk tablet, a really small one that only has maybe uh, three to four hotkeys. You can set up the most simplest of hotkeys. You can do undo and you can do cut and you can do paste. Those are like the most simplest ones that you're going to always want to use whenever you're making a drawing, a digital drawing of any kind. Undo and paste and delete are like some of your biggest hotkeys you'll ever use and once you figure out how to use them you can use them in you know speed and conjunction you can do a lot of crazy things with them like i said uh, usually just the basic command list a v b space bar and z those are some huge functions that i use regularly in every single image i draw i always use the brush tool i always use the, the select tool and the direct select tool direct select tool i always use it whenever i'm finalizing my image just to make sure a line i want to get wider would be wider and again just make sure you familiarize yourself with the keyboard setup and how the key commands work uh, there is a lot of functionality like uh, control and then a bunch of keys on the keyboard will do something control shift will do something different let's say you say control a um, or let's say control D that will pretty much duplicate what you made if you move an object and you drop it you hit control D then it will just duplicate what you just did alt and move an object will duplicate it just like that it'll just simply duplicate it do whatever you want hold shift down and it'll hold it to an axis so it depends on you depending if you want it to be held to an axis or a free movement um, and it's very complicated and like I said this basic video is basically just to, just to get you into the door of Adobe Illustrator to learn the keys and commands because Illustrator does not really have a good tutorial system on how to press these keys and buttons and stuff and so you just gotta really just play around and familiarize yourself and that's pretty much it for this video uh, this was a very difficult video again like I said earlier for me to make because uh, I didn't know where to begin with this video because there's so many things that I can talk about Adobe Illustrator like there's so much function it can do so many crazy things with Adobe Illustrator and this I guess for me personally I'm trying I am trying to gauge this video more towards people who have a drawing tablet a uh, you know something they can draw digitally with and uh, trying to get away from the norm of using a mouse so just having a tablet on the side really does help and all of these commands and functions are things that you can set up as hotkeys for your tablet just go into your tablets OS and then just set it up and that's what you got to do there's nothing else to it uh, these commands are the you know the bare bones of the application for digital artists and stuff when you're drawing uh, you know hit the brush tool set up the brush to make it be the way how I want it to be and then I start doing my rough sketch change the transparency and things like that that's what I always do and then when I start to finalize it I make a custom brush and start plugging away because uh, teaching drawing is something that you can't really teach it's pretty much self-taught you can look and watch people's techniques and stuff like that and see how they might have drawn that swoosh over there or how they're able to make a really nice stroke without disconnecting it just one solid stroke that's always helpful but it is definitely a key point 
be able to just figure out the application first with some of the, the bare bone commands. But that's the video, you guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it, enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions, put it down in the comments. You know, it's always a learning experience doing this with you guys. But it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Rate, comment, subscribe. Your boy out.